There are two things that intrigued me about Crystar, its presentation being one of them. The first trailer is showing an anime opening with visually stunning imagery and animation, at such quality I wasn't prepared for. Plus it has an amazing track to back the gorgeous visuals up, to set the tone for a possibly stimulating video game. And the other thing... Ray, I'm so happy to see you again. You're still totally my type. See you again. You're still totally my type. You're still totally my type. The other was the possibility of gay girls. <laughs> Crystar is an action JRPG created by the Furyu Corporation and published by Spike Chunsoft. The game was released on Steam in the PS4 August 27th, 2019. I came across Crystar while searching for some action games to play, and seeing the title alone got me interested enough to jump on it. The anime opening got me to click the wishlist button for the game, and wait for it to come out. Wait, while other people got to play and review it before its release date. Before you ask, I'm not bitter. Alright, maybe just a little. My name is... Ray. Ray Hatada. Crystar is about a girl named Ray that strikes a deal with two demons, Mephis and Felice, to resurrect her dead sister. Although, her sister is only dead because Ray doesn't know how to hold hands. Are you okay? That's it. Let's hold hands again, big sis! Huh. Big sis! You fucking idiot! In order to save her sister, she must collect enough idia and obtain her sister's soul before it disappears. Along the way, she'll find fellow executors with their own goals to help her on her journey. Now, on to the gameplay. For the movement, when you jog for two seconds, it'll become a sprint, and you are also given a dash. For combat, you have light attacks and heavy attacks, which can be used on the ground and in the air. You can also use special attacks and spells. You also have a tear gauge, which can be filled by attacking the enemies or by using your magic points. Regrettable. No matter what, I have to work hard. When it's full, you can activate it. You can summon your guardian, and it'll help you fight. If you press that button again, you'll be able to do a special attack. Scatter! <laughs> Shine within the night of sorrow. Tears! Blow up toward the stars of hope! Hands up, Ray! And lastly, you can switch to the other characters in your party. Doing so will give you a temporary buff. Out of the four, I'd say my favorite character to use is Sen. What can I say, I'm a sucker for dual swords. The main thing I love about Crystar is the visuals. Now I'm no graphics whore, but I can appreciate good graphics when I see them. Every time I've gone to a new map, I would always be taken aback by the way it looks. I would even stop to take a look at the scenery occasionally. This also includes the character designs. Now I don't really have a particular favorite, but I'd say they're all aesthetically pleasing to look at. Also, I had to say the monster designs are pretty cool. If I had to say anything negative about Crystar, it would be on the difficulty of the game. I found Crystar to be way too easy. This is due to how the monsters attack you. They're slow and for the most part have very short range. You can switch the difficulty to hard mode to fix that. However, I'd only feel in danger if I had to deal with a large group of them. Although, my friend thinks it's because I'm used to getting pounded raw by Dark Souls, and I enjoyed every second of it. And to that, I say... maybe. But my opinion still stands. Chrysar also has an English dub, and I'm happy to say it doesn't suck. And I'm actually surprised on how good it really is, and I highly recommend using it. It was just... a child? Huh? Yeah, it's the soul of a child. What about it? It's just a little kid! It was crying, it just wants a friend! So, what? 
And with that said... What about the gay girl? Oh, yeah. Uh, the gay girl shenanigans come from Kokoro. Listen up, y'all. Cute girls are for everyone. They happen, but not nearly enough, to be honest. And if that keeps you from buying it, I don't blame you. And with that said, so, you want to play Crystar? Ultimately, that choice is yours. But if you are interested, the game is normally $60. Although I got it for 10% off, because I got the game day one. And if that's still too pricey for you, I understand. But anyway, that's it from me. See you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of this.